Hello guys and welcome to episode 23 of my Total War 3 Kingdoms 8 Princes playthrough playing as Sir Ma Leong on very hard difficulty. Today we're going to be continuing our war with Sir Ma Ai as it is in full swing. We have our armies in position to inflict lots of damage to his settlements. Our vassals are all going to be charging towards him as well. It's going to get pretty ridiculous. We are also at war now with the Jin Empire. So it's basically one side versus the other now. As everybody is now at war. Uh, we do have a couple of armies to move I believe. We've got Sirma Leong up here. He can attack Sirma Wenkai at uh, Jin Jing Tuan. Wait. This character is... Oh, is this my spy? I saw that symbol and I didn't recognize it. <laughs> but he's my spy. Okay. <laughs> is there something we could do with him? We do have like 80 undercover network, which is pretty nice. So what are the actions that we have to do? The attempt to manipulate the spy into being granted administrative powers. That's not really very useful right now. Um, dispatch false marching orders to an army there by diminishing its range and causing the troops to be fatigued. Is there nothing that allows us to like just tell the faction to just or the army to just switch sides? Because he's leading the army. Uh, leak marching orders, leak an army's planned maneuvers, thereby allowing forces to engage them in night battles regardless of circumstance and increasing their chance of being ambushed. That's interesting. Okay. Oh, we can actually do that on other armies, not just the army he's in. Okay, cool. Uh, deny military supplies, prevent supplies from reaching an army, thereby hindering the replenishment. Arrange for an army's provisions to be poisoned, thereby inflicting casualties upon its units. That's pretty nice. And then infiltrate army. Arrange for a loyal member of your undercover network to infiltrate a known character's army, thereby granting you its line of sight and allowing you to track its movements. Okay. What about the court noble actions? We have interference. Meddle in the faction's intelligence efforts, thereby diminishing their counter-spying attempts and increasing your spy's cover. Uh, larceny. Steal a random item from the faction before escaping with it back to your own. This actually might be quite a good idea, because then he'll leave the army, surely. Uh, build undercover network. Acquire additional covert relations. Okay, that's not what we need. And what's this? Discredit character. Spread malicious rumors about a character, thereby significantly dim dis diminishing their satisfaction within the court. Okay. All right, poison military provisions would cost 10. Lastly, would cost 15. So maybe we could do both. But normally that message pops up, right? Where we have to choose like whether or not we want to cancel it or add more that always seems to happen so i think we'll just go for larceny that will tell him to leave right and so his retinue at least will just abandon the army so steal a random item from the faction before escaping and bringing it back to your own let's try that yeah caught in the act this always happens like is this a chance based thing because <laughs> It's pretty ridiculous sometimes. As your spy pre prepares to escape, coveted item in hand, or coveted item in hand, uh, they find themselves surrounded by armed guards. Several of the guards are undoubtedly linked to your undercover network and might be called upon to slay the others, allowing the spy to make good their escape. So we'll give the order, kill the guards. One of our spies has successfully stolen an item of importance from this faction, replacing it with an item of equal weight and approximate shape so that no one will realize it is missing for some time. Okay, uh, has he left that army then? He has! <laughs> okay, cool. Well, that works. Good timing. Now we can throw Sir Ma Leong in there. That's the first time I think I've ever used a spy. Like, ever. Like, properly, at least. So now we can go attack this, jump it into night battle. They do have a trebuchet. That's kind of awkward. But yeah, we'll jump straight in. Well, that's going to be, what, a few 
hundred men less to kill, or maybe like one thousand odd men. I don't know what his retinue was. That's really cool though. Not sure I remember going to really use a spy again anyway for the rest of this campaign, but it was nice to actually experience what it's like to use one for once. Maybe, we'll, maybe at some point I'll play Sao Sao and actually focus on spies more so. Um, right, we got to take down this farm settlement. Not sure if we want to attack from this direction. Might be better to attack from somewhere else because we got the trees here. And we'll just end up setting them alight if we're using flaming arrows. I guess over here would probably be best. Yeah, we'll, we'll shift everything over here. And I'll set up my trebuchets. I think I have flaming arrows. I do. We'll just send one of those to go and attack their towers. Alright, let's uh, get these spread out. We'll have those behind. And then everything else except from that unit behind them. Great. Let's start the battle. Uh, actually, one thing I do need to do is turn off the fire at will on the trebuchets. Right, off we go. Go take down that tower. Where's the trebuchet? Oh, the trebuchet is right there. Attack them. Attack those trebuchets. What are they firing at? I don't even know. And they, it looked like they were aiming to fire somewhere over here, but... Never mind, I guess. Oh, it's actually quite good because uh, the troops are all around the trebuchets, so we're going to get some nice collateral hits. Alright, that's job done for the one X dragons at least. Oh, there we go. We took down one of the trebuchets already. Very good. Uh, what are they firing at? My Onyx dragons back here? Is that just an intentional hit or not? I can't tell. Well, we hit that trebuchet a few times. To be honest, we've almost killed the crew. <laughs> so, I guess that works. I might be able to just stop them from firing soon. Yep. Alright, just target other stuff instead. Let's just hope they don't get back on the trebuchet. Well, they have some Pearl Dragons here. He's going to be relatively tough to deal with. But everything else I think is pretty mediocre. That is some good old hits. They may be spread out a bit here, but not spread out enough. <laughs> nice. Uh, let's uh, maybe put some shots into the Pearl Dragons. And what I'm going to do whilst we're doing this is move up my guys in tunnel formation. I do actually have these in shield wall formation that I could potentially move up. Right, it doesn't look like they have loose formation, which is good. Damn, they are getting wrecked. When the when the shots actually land on target, they take a chunk. That's for sure. Like, where's your general gone? <laughs> yeah, I reckon that's a good old target there. Because my archers are actually going to do quite a lot. My Onyx Dragons. The only trouble with firing at this slot is that my shots are quite inaccurate. So we're kind of wasting a bit of ammo by firing at them. I'm just going to stop them from firing for now. Right, meanwhile, uh, we'll just grab my Onyx Dragons. Uh, these guys, yeah, they're all in loose formation. That's good. Uh, let's just uh, move them up and start firing at this uh, G Militia or G Infantry. I don't have shields, so my archers can kill them very quickly. And if units honestly start to commit to this engagement, I think then is probably the best time to use the trebuchets, so I'm going to save some shots 
We'll see how we get on. I guess I may as well just put these into shield wall and start moving them up as well. Move up my crossbows. Right, do we have range? We do. Alright, so I may just let these fire at will. There we go, that G infantry is just gonna get absolutely slaughtered. Alright, we'll stop them firing soon so they don't waste extra ammunition. There we go. Because that's killed the majority of them. That's all we need to do. So now what I can do is uh, give these individual orders to target something like the mounted heavy archers there or the, the standard archers. Got the G... If, uh, G Militia there actually coming forward, so we'll target those. And there's another unit coming in as well that we're going to want to target. I should stop them firing again. Yeah, let's uh, shift one of these all the way forwards so that we can sort of provoke, I guess, the G militia there. I think I might also add these to the same group so that I can control them better. Alright, there's G militia. Again, they have no shields, so they're going to take a lot of damage. I'm going to target the unit behind now as well. There we go. Oh, look at the amount of arrows coming in there. That is ludicrous. Uh, these Spear Warriors, they don't have shields, do they? Maybe we can focus them as well. Because as these route, they will run through the Spear Warriors, so... It's good for us. Also those spear guard coming through as we're attacking those, that's good. Alright, pretty much stop them firing. I don't really want to target the spear guard. I guess we can. Spear guard have shields, so they're a less desirable target, but I reckon we can still kill them quite easily. Our range damage is really high, so... Yep, they're burning bright. Blimey. <laughs> Very bright indeed. <laughs> I think the crossbows are firing as well, aren't they? Yeah. That's actually okay. The crossbows attacking there is a good thing. I'll just get a volley into each of those. Perfect. Just want to make them push more troops up. We can just keep hitting them as they do. Great. Here's another target for our archers. I think having one of the Onyx Dragons with the flaming shots is actually a good idea. Just so that we give that morale penalty to the unit. Like as soon as my next dragon stop firing, my crossbows open up further back. Okay, here comes another unit. 
I was hoping more would come at once and we could use the trebuchet a bit better, but... Oh well. Those spear guard are getting wrecked at the front by the crossbows there. The ones on the back, the spear warriors. Imagine what it must be like to be told to just stand there and take that. I mean, seriously. <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. Some of my next dragons have run out of ammunition. I'm guessing the ones with lower ammunition aren't in my strategist's retinue. I should also uh, move my leaders up, actually, so that we have them in position. I should speed things up again. Next one, the G Infantry Captain. <laughs> Massacre them. Yeah, you move into that position where all of your dead brethren are. Blimey. Balls of steel, these guys. Just add into the piles. It's quite simply going to be no men left. Oh, they're actually setting up two at once at this time around. Fantastic. Maybe we can use the trebuchets. <laughs> Like, as if it wasn't bad enough. Now they got to deal with trebuchet fire as well. Pretty damn accurate trebuchet fire. Oh, oh boy. That just isn't fair. Oh shit, I'm hitting my own dudes. Okay, Trebuchet, you can stop. <laughs> well, let's hit the repeating crossbows there. Or the arch militia behind is probably better. They're the ones with the range. Yeah, their archers are moving up, that's good. Oh, my archers moved up. Oh, that oh, I know. That's because uh, they ran out of ammunition, I gave them the attack order. Oh well, that <laughs> clumps up their archers at least. <laughs> Let's hit the repeating crossbows. may also be worth shooting at the Pearl Dragons. Although they have missile block chance, so maybe not. I don't know. Uh, we definitely want to kill the Trebuchet crew. And these are almost out of ammunition. Yeah, that's the Trebuchet crew gone. Damn. Oh, these shots are just so brutal. We haven't even used up all of our ammunition on our ranged units yet. Like, come on, this isn't even fair at this point. <laughs> we barely lost a man. Alright, those are out. That's absolutely fine. That's our trebuchets out of ammunition. I thought it was the Onyx Dragons, but they're still firing away. They're now finished though. Hmm. 
And I'm just going to hit the uh, heavy repeating crossbows. And we're going to be pretty damn close right now. To win in this battle. Like, honestly, I could probably start moving these guys inside. Have a slow jaunt over the bodies of our enemies. Alright, let's stop those from firing. We'll move them up a little bit more. Let's try and get some shots onto these last remaining units as they come our way. I don't want to take these out of the turtle formation, quite simply because there is a lot of archers here, and if I do, they're just going to get wrecked. Although the Pearl Dragon's there, they charged into my Imperial Guard. My Imperial Guard have actually fought back quite well. They already killed like 10 of them, surprisingly. Crossbows have wrecked those guys, that's good. Uh, let's just take these out of this formation we'll push them up until they're in range of the archers and we can attack those just to try and finish things off here. Alright, there we go. Army losses are kicking in. Speed things up. There we go, that's victory. <laughs> My men <laughs> didn't have to do a thing. Just bodies everywhere. My, my. The kills are going to be crazy. 812 kills, one of the trebuchets. Highest on X Dragons was 582. <laughs> wow. 98 lost. Close victory, boys. <laughs> uh, she's disloyal, we'll just release her. Uh, incompetent. <laughs> and she's lame. Uh, we'll release her as well. I do actually need new generals for my armies. Because we need to make a new army, actually. We'll go ahead and occupy this. Be cool to arms. Well... Ask and ye shall receive. Hopefully this is a decent person. Chen Yang Jin. No. <laughs> I mean, she is good. She's humble and dutiful, which is great, actually. But, <laughs> do I need a commander at this point? I don't know. I guess I could do like a commander, sentinel, and then bring back one of my strategists. Which one would be the best for an army? Either Yu Jingshu or Lady Shen Jingmin. I think she'd be the best. Uh, yeah, because then we can just get resourcefulness. Although saying that... I don't know. Uh, I think she's probably best. We're just going to go with that because the extra character experience for the army as well is also nice. Um, so let's go ahead and, and give her an army. We'll just do that straight away. She's not a spy, which is good. So it's like if I go into the court, it's quite likely that a lot of these are going to be a spy at the moment. And we do actually need to assign a new uh, administrator. Um, but because we, she's come through an event, she's probably not. So... Let's go ahead and raise an army here, and um, we'll just make her the leader, like, straight away. There you go, congratulations. And do we have a sentinel we can use? We can use Princess Pei. She is... I thought she was in an army. Oh, she's just an administrator. She's not actually in an army. Okay, uh, that's fine. I mean, that's the only other person I can use, right? Unless I want to recruit someone new. Or I do also have Man Zhu Yan. Let's, uh, let's check these out. Man Zhu Yan. Uh, spiteful, quiet and committed. She's not bad. What about um, Princess Pei though? 
Well, she already has diligence. She's also got scholarship as well, so we could really boost the experience of our troops. Yeah, I think that's fine. I think we'll use Princess Pay. She also comes with a big retinue. Not that I'm probably going to use it, I'll probably change it. So it doesn't really matter. But yeah, she's a higher level, so we'll use Princess Pay. She's um, Sermar Yu's wife, right? Got a family tree. Yeah, Sermar Yu, Princess Pei, yep. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. She should be relatively loyal. Let's recruit Princess Bay. Alright, she can control Cav, so we'll give her the Dao Sword Guard Cav. It's fine. Uh, does she have composure? No, she doesn't. I think it may be best to just go for as much Sword Cav as we can. Just for now. Because we're going to have a strategist in this army. She doesn't have composure either, so no archers for her. She's just going to have all Imperial Guard. I guess actually we could potentially put maybe a unit of G Militia there instead. Actually, Spear Guard's fine as well. Yeah, we'll do Spear Guard. Just to protect our flanks. Right, let's just swap all of these out. Perfect. Okay, and my strategists, Lady Shenjing Min, she's currently stimulating markets at Nanyang. So if we go to assignments, uh, she's actually being called back already. Okay, good. Perfect. Well, the reason we're building this army here is because we have this army of the Jin Empire that's ready to attack Nanyang. Um, I should probably hand out some of that stuff. Let's see about equipping her. Uh, that's fine. Uh, we can give her that as well. Yep, she can use that. Perfect. And I guess just more authority. We could push her up to the 100 mark, which would give plus 10 morale. So let's just give her that. Yep, there we go. Good, right, she's looking great. Uh, this one's already sorted. She's already got an Iron Archer and the Craftsman. No horses I can give her. Okay, great. That's really nice uh, that she kind of popped up when she did. <laughs> that was really, really convenient. Uh, what about this guy? He's leveled up. Ruan Jing. Oh, I do need to assign a new governor, don't I? Uh, tenacity of Steel, I guess, would be ideal. Uh, so we'll just do that. Okay, and we'll go to the court thing here. Who would be best? Like, Sir Yu might be a good one, but I don't think his traits are very good. Or at being an a, a, um, administrator. No. Like, he doesn't have the ability to get the one that increases commerce and the one... Well, this one increases industry. Okay, never mind. He does have that one. But not the one that increases commerce that most other Sentinels have. Uh, so, we need to find someone who is suitable. Maybe we could do it by satisfaction. Because most of my people are satisfied right now. Uh, he desires a higher court position. He doesn't have scholarship or intuition, so that's not ideal. Um, she's already an administrator. Why is she... She desires higher cut position? Blimey. She's already an administrator. I guess she is a manipulator. Uh, Tan Ping Ri. She is 51. She has scholarship and intuition. And Xiong Ching Ning is 46 satisfaction, scholarship, intuition. So it's basically between Xiong Ching Ning and Tan Ping Ri. I think Xiong takes it because of the extra expertise. Also has some pretty good traits. 
the extra creative there, the minus 5%. Oh, that's never mind, that doesn't affect her. Um, that's for if they're an advisor, heir, or faction leader. But yeah, she would be the best one. Zhong Jingning. Okay, where is she? Congratulations, Zhong Jingning. You can take that. Um, oh, I should probably work out where would be the best place to put her. Uh, so we have that one creates the most money. That's commerce, industry. I think honestly, Zheng Yang is the best one to do because that's the one that I think the previous administrator was doing. So we'll put her there. Yeah, unfortunately, Sima Liang's buddy died. Uh, Sima Liang must be pretty old. He's 82, still fighting on the front line. What an absolute boss. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Crazy stuff. He has a grudge against the Jin Empire. <laughs> no shit. The amount of times they've declared war on us is ridiculous. Um, and I guess that grudge is from when the the uh, Queen Regent, whatever it is, uh, made him an enemy of the state. But, yeah. Is that everything? What's our relationship like with people? Like, set my way... He actually doesn't like us much. Is there anyone else who doesn't like us? Who isn't our vassal? Or who is our vassal? Like Song Wei, he doesn't like us. And Ruan Shen. But that's because we just made them vassals. Uh, Gu Shen, I think, doesn't like us much. But we're going to be giving him territory soon, so that's fine. Although I might need to give him some money. Yeah, I might need to give him some money. We'll just uh, make a payment. I think what I'm going to do this turn, what I'm considering doing at least, is annexing Sir Marway. May your or we just give him money, one of the two. Because I need him to like me. Otherwise they're all going to declare independence and be a pain in the ass. Because that's what happened with Sir Ma Chai, right? But we cho chose like not to pursue the the uh, war, I think. Well, I can call Guzhen to war. I think they're already all at war with Surma Ai, right? Why must we yeah, speak? I think so, yeah. <laughs> you see the amount of enemies that Surma Ai has at the moment. <laughs> Look at this. He's even at war with the Jin Empire, I believe. <laughs> Poor Surma Ai. Being picked on. Everybody hates him as well. <laughs> Except from so much I. <laughs> wow. Alright, we need, we still need to give uh, more money to Gishen. Shall we begin? So we'll do that again. Uh, make payment. Just drop that down to the 5 mark. Wonderful. Alright, that should be enough. Do we annex him our way? I think we do. Honestly, I'd like to have him as a general. That'd be pretty cool. So, I think it's time to annex another. It's going to make people not like us very much. But anybody who's like really low, like Ruan Shen, uh, we can give money to. Yeah, I think any that are like negative, we'll just go around and give money to them. So we'll do this. We were working on our <laughs> reliability rating, but we're going back to treacherous. Let's go. Boom, job Beware. done. A starved dog will grow feral. Alright. So Sema Way is now ours. There he is. Oh he has loads of chew units. That's really cool. Alright, relationship lost, relationship lost, relationship lost. Faction confederated. Uh, we do lose lose the trade, which is unfortunate, so our income has dropped. But we secured Chung An. Uh, we're probably going to give away Chang'an and all of these settlements up north. So, Zhang Zhengli already controls the city here. I think we may as well hand off the Anding farmland and toolmaker and all of Shuofang to Zhang Zhengli. I think that's the best bet there. 
Like this is going to be plus 20% corruption. And that's also going to be affecting our income quite a bit. Because I thought that dropped more than <laughs> it otherwise would have. Is there anyone else we can trade with actually while we're here? Oh, interesting. Okay. So we can actually trade with more people now that we control his land. So we can probably fill up those slots. I may want to keep Chang An then, honestly, but I can't have my domain extended. Hmm. Interesting. Because I was going to give, I think, Han Zhong Chang An. Or not Han Chong, uh, Pu Yang Wan Shi. I guess I could maybe give away Ba. Like Ba is a small set, like a small um, region, honestly. But then again, so is Chang An. Like if we could get a big region like Anding instead of like Ba, that would be worth it. But Chang An's probably not worth it because there's only two settlements. Damn, it's going to give us a lot of uh, management to do. Uh, how many armies did he have? It doesn't look like he actually had that many. Um, hmm. Unless they've all, all, all already moved and therefore I can't see them on the side here. We just built that one. The only one we just got was Sir Malway. Sir Malway is an absolute boss. Although, why does he have a battle axe? I guess it does do quite a lot of damage, but a bit of a weird choice for him. Got the Black Elite. Extra cunning. Okay, well, we'll take that off him. <laughs> um, he's also got cunning there, which is kind of pointless. And he's also got the Black Dragon, which is kind of pointless for him. Because he doesn't have any archers, so he doesn't need the cunning anyway. It does give us extra military supplies, but... I think we're better off just giving him an archer there. Alright, Gong Shun Hong. He has the nine chapters on the mathematical art. That is fine. Uh, we can give him that. I can also give him the Black Elite. Okay. Well, that's giving extra expertise. That might actually be a decent shout for Sir Malway. Because he's already got really high instinct. So extra melee evasion is not a bad idea. Right, this lady is all good. Uh, we can actually give her that. And we can also hand out the black dragon to somebody. Maybe I'll just give the black dragon to Gong Shin Hong. For now, at least. And then we can give the nine chapters on the mathematical art to someone else. We'd have to do that next turn. I think you can switch around ancillaries in the same army in the same turn. Yeah, we'll have to give those out later on. Anyway, that's good. Right, let's uh, carry on with this management. Um, and we're going to have to sort out our attitude with other people as well. So let's sort out giving out land first. All the land was up north, wasn't it? Hmm. I think Sheng Zhengli is like the only person to give this stuff to. Like An Ding and Shuo Fang. And we'll give like Xu Yan, Jing Cheng, and uh, Wu Wei up here. And then we can give this to Bu Yang Wan Shi. Yeah, we're going to have to hand it out. I don't think I need the trade income, so I think we'll be okay. Alright, let's go ahead and go to negotiate. I am eager to listen. 
trade territory. Chang An. Give you that. You like me very much. Plus 49 attitude consequence. Nice. We accept this there you go. Compliment. And we can talk to her again. Glad to see you. And give her the Chang Han Jade Mine. There you go. Rational minds always find common ground. It seems as though if you give them like plus twenty, you get even more. But does this still allow us to trade? Let's see. No, it does take away the trade. We can trade with Ru Ruan Shen and uh, Bian Bing. We could probably make that happen. So I think that's fine. Right, let's um, give the other land to Sheng Sheng Li. It's your lucky day. Good to see you. Train territory. The rest of Anding. We'll do it one by one. Actually, maybe better to do it all at once if it pushes it over. Let's see. Yes, yeah, so that goes plus 50 instead of doing it twice and getting plus 15 each time. There you go. Your generosity is appreciated. Big chunk of land. And now we give her this stuff as well. Excellent. Talk. Trade territory. Uh, that's all Shuofang, isn't it? Can we do two again for an extra 50? Oh, that's not going to be enough. All right, we'll do that one. And then we can maybe hand off the other two. Good to see you. Well, that's going to make it over five at least. So we get plus 14 from this. Your generosity is appreciated. There you go. All right, that's uh, sorted out all of those. They all like me a lot up there. Sir Ma Wei, he can go and take Hidong for us, actually. And this is Sir Ma Dan, right? Yeah, so Hidong can probably go to um, Pu Yang Wan Zhi, I think. And then we'll give uh, Zhi He to Zheng Zheng Li, because Sir Ma Dan's already massive, and we're probably going to give him more land. We also took this one. We need to give that out. I don't know who we could give that to. Probably Sir Ma Yong for now. I think we could do. Welcome, friend. Great territory. Uh, that is Ying Tuan. Give you that. Here you go. A proposal worthy of my standing. Perfect. Now we got ejected from that city. Uh, can we like maybe jump on the water and then attack Hina in the next turn? Uh, that might be cool if we could do that. No, we can't. All right, that's all right. Um, anywhere else we need to give out. I'm not sure we have any left to give away. Uh, our domain's still extended, though. Why is that? Uh, we gave away Chang An. Oh, we Luo Yang. Uh, we need to give Luo Yang away. Uh, who do we give Luo Yang to? Maybe we give that to Pu Yang Wan Shi. The Luo Yang trade port here. It's the only person that I can really give that to, so. Lucky day again. Welcome. Take trade territory. Luo Yang trade port. There you go. Be happy. Rational minds always find common ground. We can probably give her all of Luo Yang, because Luo Yang's uh, I guess it's relatively big, but that's fine. She can control that as well. Control our northern border for us. Right, that's still domain extended. I guess we have this one down here that I don't think we can give to Gu Shen yet. Greetings, well met. Uh, no, we can't. All right. We must have taken another settlement somewhere. Oh yeah, the Chengsha trade port. Uh, we can't give that away though, I don't think. Unless we give it to Bai Jin. Or we could give it to Ruan Shen. Uh, that would help with our 
relations with Ruan Shen because I don't think he likes me very much. No, that's minus 122, guys. <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous. Blimey. <laughs> um, okay. I guess we we could also give it Song Wei, I think. He's gonna be relatively small. Yeah, and Bai Jin is another one. All of these guys they don't like us very much. I think they're all candidates for Chang An. I think we're gonna give it to Bai Jin. Because I can give Ruan Shen other land down here. And Bai Jin's kind of like cornered in here. So there's no other way we're going to be able to give him stuff. Alright, let's negotiate with him. Raid territory. Qingxia trade port. Here you go, buddy. Congratulations. That's going to improve relations. Alright, now we're going to go and talk to Ruan Shen. And we're going to give him a load yes, of money. Yes. Talk. Oh, a trade agreement. Yeah, we could we could trade for the trade agreement. Uh, what? Who who can trade with us? Let's have a look. Right. I think it's Bian Bing, right? He will trade. Uh, we can just sign that straight away. And uh, negotiate deal. Welcome, friend. I might just give him some money while we're at it. Uh, make a payment. Just so that he's not neutral and he goes positive. That's plus 24 on the attitude consequence. That's actually really nice. We reach an understanding. Okay, cool. Um, then we go to Ruan Shen. Trade agreement. Negotiate deal. Do we have to? Um, make payment. We'll just whack this up. Oh, we can only do plus 15 from payment. I think probably why haven't done this before. Alright. Well, we'll max that out and then we'll add regular payment. Maybe I could uh, do like another 15 from regular payment. Hmm. Just trying to drop this as much as I can. I guess we can do the, like the plus five, right? There we go plus twenty-four attitude consequence. As you wish. There you go. Have some money, and we'll give you even more money. Going through all the this, this diplomacy, just trying to make sure my vassals are happy after annexing so my way. Otherwise, what will happen is they'll all just up and leave me, and I'll have to fight all of the south again, which will be a pain in the ass. Uh, so we'll just make them another payment. Whack that up. Is there a way to make that even higher? If we push it to 15, that's 6,500 gives plus 50 attitude consequence. A kind and that's fantastic. Alright, we can do that multiple times then. Our patience is thin. Give you loads of money, mate. Making you rich. And the good thing is, they're going to use it to upgrade the settlements. And then I'm going to annex them later down the line. Actually, Ruan Shen probably not one that's going to get annexed. Because he is not one of the eight princes. We'll just do that one more time. And then we're good. Alright, it's trending towards plus 61. I sorted him out, Song Wei. Let us get this is over. minus 63, so we'll make him some payments. There you go. Goodwill stabilizes we'll do another one. May we find common ground. There you go. An offer to be cherished. Alright, that's gonna trend him towards positive, I think. Uh, also, the annexation is going to go down whilst we're doing this afterwards as well. Right, who else hates us? That's Sul Sema Ai. Gu Zhen, Shi Khan. They're all good. 
Glad to see you. Uh, it may be worth sending them some money. Just check these out. I think they're generally trending upwards. Clarity and oh, that one's trending downwards. Guidance. So we'll send him some money. Better safe than sorry. An offer to be cherished. Okay, and Huang Jin. What's your rational minds can achieve? Trending towards things. plus one. All right, we'll give him some money as well. Oh, he needs a lot of money to be happy. A well, there you go. Born of integrity. All right, that sorts out most of our problems, I believe. Yeah, Song Wei, Ruan Shen, and Bai Jin. Bai Jin still doesn't like us that much. Did we give Get him any money? We can give him some more money. Make another payment. There we go. This heralds great things between us. That will sort us out. It's going to use up <laughs> like 50k, but we're making 30k a turn still, especially with the trade agreements now. And unfortunately, guys, it has been my time. So we didn't even get through this turn. I think more or less everything is done, though. Next time we can continue our war with Sema Ai. We can take more lands off of the Jin Empire and back to Domain Normal, which is nice. And yeah, we'll just uh, defend our territory and take more for ourselves and hand it out to our vassals. Right, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.